RF spectrum for Wi-Fi. Let's do a comparison. In today's training video, we'll be comparing the RF spectrum across the bands, 2.4, 5 gig, and 6 gig. We're not going to go talking about the 900 megahertz or some of the other IoT bands. We're just focusing on 2.4, 5 gig, and 6. Let's look at it. As we look at this chart, it looks a little overwhelming. There's lots and lots of bandwidth. It's big. It's filled all on the screen. So instead of looking at it as a whole, which we could, I mean, as you look at it as a whole, there's a lot going on there. Let's zoom up into the right corner and look just at the difference in bandwidth. How much bandwidth do we have? In 2.4 gig, we have only 80 megahertz to play with. 80 megahertz. It sounds like a lot until you realize it's really only three channels. We only have three channels of non-overlapping frequency to use in 2.4. Nice, great, and 20 years ago it was fantastic. We didn't have anything else. We then moved up to 5 gigahertz with about 500 megahertz, and we've used that for the last decade or more, and that's really where our growth has been going. But with 6 gig in the future, we're picking up an extra 1,200 megahertz more space, more than double what we've had so far. So yeah, zooming in there, it's great to see that we're getting that much more spectrum. That means Wi-Fi can be more efficient. We can use wider channels and get faster throughputs all the way around. Now we're going to zoom in on just the size. We've seen this in the other videos about 2, 4, 5 gig and 6. 2, 4 bigger waves, 5 gig smaller, 6 gig even smaller. And we have a little uh, ruler that you can compare those to. If we go in the upper left corner, and we now see that there's just three channels. When we talked specifically about 2.4, we showed all the 13 channels, but really there's only three that we can use cleanly without adjacent channel interference, and we really don't like adjacent channel interference. The problem with three is that forces us to be in many situations in where we have co-channel interference. Two more APs on the same channel above a noise floor. If it's above the noise floor where there's a preamble detect, if I detect your preamble, I will wait and defer. That means two APs on the same channel above the preamble detect, you have the capacity of one because they both wait for each other. The protocol is very polite. If you're talking, I'm going to wait for you. Thus, the 2.4 gig problem is we don't have enough frequency to go there. The other issue is because it has a wider, bigger wavelength, that means the receive aperture on the devices that are listening will collect more information meaning they can be further away from an AP and still hear it enough to be in its preamble detect. So the contention domain, the size of how it can be effective to other devices, is pretty big, like measured in hundreds of meters. So that's kind of hard to design and keep those where they are. Works really good for IoT, works really good for low data rate devices, uh, older devices that can't do anything else, of course they're going to be in there. Then we look and zoom in on the 5 gig. Now in this view, we took out the Uni 2B because it's really not part of what we're going to do. And there's no Uni 4 because it hasn't been ratified yet. This is our current set. We have about 25, 20 megahertz channels, 11, 40 megahertz channels, but only 5, 80 megahertz channels. So we don't get a lot of 80 megahertz going on today in the 5 gig space unless you're you know, home or, or a small office that's very far away from any neighbors. We stick in the 40s. And again, the rule, use the widest channel you can until you can't. How do you know you can't? You know when you get co-channel interference. So if you have co-channel interference, go to a smaller channel. And then we can zoom out and see this big 6 gigahertz. 6 gigahertz has lots and lots of frequency. 59, 20 megahertz channels to play with. This is huge. 29, 40s. We can go to 40s and not hit any co-channel interference in most buildings anywhere. In fact, with 14 in the U.S., at least, with 14 80 megahertz channels, that's fantastic. That's, as, that's you know more than we're getting right now with our 40s. So 80 is going to be the new 40 moving on in the 6 gig. We still don't have 6 gig shipping at yet, but as you compare these, 6 gig is going to be the future of where we're going. Like we've said in other videos, if you like what you see here and you want more training videos, go make comments, uh, go download the graphics, the files that you'd like on WM Pros. We love sharing the information with the community, and we're glad that you're part of our community. Thank you.